Hi everyone, welcome to the Civil Engineers Planet. Today we are going to discuss about the theory of steady tachometry. In the theory of steady tachometry, we will find the equation for the horizontal distance and also we will determine the tachometry constants. So let's begin. First of all, we will see the terms which are present in the steady tachometry. So let's see the term one by one. Here you can see capital A1, capital A2 and capital C. These are the readings on the staff cut by 3 years. Small A1, small A2 and C. Here you can see small A1, small A2 and this small C1. These are the bottom, top and central hairs of the diaphragm. Here I is the length of the image. S is the staff intercept. F is the focus. Here you can see this is F. V is the vertical axis of the instrument. Small f is the focal length of the object glass. D, small d is the distance be between the vertical axis of instrument and the optical center. Small u is the distance between optical center and the staff. Small v is the distance between optical center and the image. So these were the terms. Uh, here you can see this A1, O, A2. This is one triangle and A1, O, A2. This is one triangle. So, these two triangles are similar. So, from the properties of the similar triangle, we get I by S equals to V by U. So, we get the value of the V as I U by S. Here you can see, this is the value of V I U by L, S. Now, we have from the properties of the lens, 1 upon V plus 1 upon U equals to 1 by F. So, now we will put the value of this V in this second equation. So, we get... 1 upon i u upon s plus 1 by u equals to 1 by f. After simplifying this equation, we get the value of the u as s upon i plus 1 into f. So, we will multiply this f with this whole bracket. So, we get s by i into f plus f. But we know distance equals to u plus d. Here you can see this capital distance equals to u plus d, small d. So, we will put the value of the u in this distance in this uh, equation of the distance so we get s upon i into f plus f plus d here you can see after returning it in a proper manner we get f by i into s plus f plus d so we have got the two quantities uh, first one is f by i and the second one is f plus d so these two quantities are called the constant of the instrument or the tachometric constant or stadia constant the values of these constants are supplied by the manufacturer and if we provide the analytic lens in the tachometer then the additive constant becomes zero and it becomes easier to calculate the distances. So this is enough for today guys. We will meet in the next lecture. Have a great day. Thank you so much.